that I think is the most urgent about a study in neutrality right now. And that is the element of flocking and the experience of ensemble. Flocking, which is, uh, you know, for those of anybody listening who doesn't know, is when a group of actors move together as an ensemble and they move together as a flock of birds or a school of fish would or, you know, horses, any animal in nature that moves as a group. Humans are the only ones who uh, have lost touch with that. We do it unconsciously all the time. If you just stand and look out the window of a building and observe city streets, there's a flow and sort of a mathematics to the way people move unconsciously with and around each other, but flocking like a school of fish. It comes with it a particular state of consciousness. And like the state of neutrality itself, it is something other that I think is inherent to humanity that is deeply needed. So we're used to being very much in our individual mind, especially now with screens, what this has done to our peripheral vision. Peripheral vision is a huge part of this work. So I feel it from looking at rectangular and square shaped screens all the time, how my vision is narrowed and narrowed and narrowed and narrowed and narrowed. But that's not natural to humans because since ancient times, if we are on the prairie or in a forest or you know, in our natural environment, our sense our, our perception, our literal seeing with our eyeballs and our whole body really would go even behind us. Mm -hmm. And so the experience of flocking brings that back to us and we get into a group mind, which sounds like a scary concept for people. But what I mean by that It's as though there's like one hand and it has many fingers that are dipping into each mm -hmm. body, moving all of the bodies together like a mm -hmm. brush with lots of heads. Usually when the ensemble first experiences this, they doubt it. They're like, oh, is this idea coming from me or is it coming from the group? Because you're supposed to get out of your individual mind and move with the group. And in observing it, it's gorgeous because you see the bodies of the actors start to move in the same way without looking directly at each other they just learn how to move together harmoniously and they start to create poetic beautiful images on stage through improvisation and it can end up looking like choreographed scripted pieces hmm. in improvisation and they can develop to that i i was in a show that developed completely through that and um it was extremely challenging but hmm but beautiful. When the ensemble first begins to experience this state, it's like, oh, this is so different from my individual mind and my individual creative impulses. And so there's a process of learning to listen to and trust that connection to the group, that something bigger than myself that moves all of us when our bodies are in the space close together, moving together. I think the reconnection to that could be restorative and extremely helpful and even healing mm -hmm. to the consciousness of all humanity if everybody was doing it and especially to the students in a neutrality workshop. Mm -hmm. So you would say that this work is really the foundation of learning to operate in that state? Yes. That in the ensemble state, which is yeah. for the Greek chorus and ancient Greek dramas, or any ancient form of theater from any culture, because it didn't just originate in Europe, mm -hmm. um, that sense of the chorus and the collective, which, you know, uh, it's just very recent that we would have this honed in, zoomed in view on the lone soul actor that's very recent in creative development. Theater was for the gods and nature and the collective, all of the people in a community. And everything that was spoken was from the voice of the collective. So the first person to step forward as an actor, an individual actor, I suspect always had a sense of the collective, the ensemble, the, the band with them. 
even if they were standing alone in the space. And that would imbue them with the sense of something greater than the, their individual self, which is what we want on stage. I'm so glad that we're doing this, Karen. I feel honored that you want to bring your work um, to flying carpet. I hope that this is the beginning of, uh, in, the, in my dream, this would be the beginning of uh, offering, you know, it's, it's kind of rolling educational opportunities year round to anyone who is interested. Oh, I would love that. That would be my dream too. And yeah. I'm really excited that flying carpet is, 